you know, Beyonce and Katy Perry started the Celebrity Coalition to help repeal the First Amendment to stop hate speech. You think that's mm -hmm. probably a good idea? Um, I haven't heard about that, but... Just to help people stop saying such offensive things. Yeah, sounds like a good you idea. You get on board with that? Yeah. It's a very popular idea, basically, to repeal the First Amendment to help kind of stop that hate speech. You think that's a good idea? I think that's a great idea. Probably long, long overdue, you think? 100%, yeah. And that'll stop... People need to be nicer to one another. We all live in the same country. You and think that that'll help stop people from saying these racist facts? And I would say so, like yeah. Uh -huh. A lot of people are still posting racist facts and things like that. What do you think can be done to maybe stop that? Um, Maybe just like report it if they don't like it and Instagram takes it down. They did get more like um strict on like TikTok too. They like put trigger warnings and all that. So I think that would help. What do you think should happen when people post like, you know, racist facts on social media like black people are 13% of the population but you know, commit 50% of the crime? I think they should be put in their place, personally, yeah. There's no room for those kinds of statistics Absolutely being not. mentioned on social media. I've never heard of the 13% rule, but I, I think that there is no place for racism in our country. Those kinds of hateful facts should not be really mentioned these days in modern society. I absolutely agree. That shouldn't be mentioned on social media these days, you think, those kinds of facts? Yeah, I would agree with that. Okay. And a lot of people are posting hateful facts and statistics on social media and things like yeah. that you think that should be stopped absolutely yeah absolutely yeah. i don't and you know what i don't see it a lot because anybody who of mine who ever posted anything like that they're they're and, gone well, facebook and twitter take down a lot of facts yeah, but right. you know parlor and gab are yeah, still allowing right, right. free speech right so yeah you think maybe it's time to i don't stop know it's that. scary they say black people can be racist too and they can because they learn racism from white people they need to re give us reparations Reparations for what they did, and say sorry, and quit that People are posting racist facts and statistics on social media. Yeah. What do you think should be done to stop that? Honestly, I don't even know what can be done to stop it, to be honest with you. Probably the only way we can stop people from saying these hate facts and, you know, kind of offensive stuff, right? Yeah. Once and for all? Once and for all, just leave it alone and make a change and then finally be done with it. Put them in jail or something? Uh, maybe not, maybe not to jail, but maybe like a... Maybe give them a fine a or fine something for yeah. every, every racist joke that they make? Yeah, something like that. A couple and, hundred dollars or something. That'll teach them a lesson, right? Yeah. What do you think we can do to get people to stop mentioning these kind of hate facts about like black people and crime and stuff like that? Look, I mean, I'm not a policy expert. Um, but I, I think uh, really just, you know, have people be aware of the world around them. Because I think we're in a different time than when that was written, when the amendment's written. So now where we're it's at... It's a very old, outdated exactly. concept. Exactly. We, uh, one of, I mean, as we progress as people, we need to progress in the times, we need to progress in what we talk about. We need and to progress stop in, people from saying those kind of, you know, racist facts yeah. and things like that, that, that to repeal the, you know, update and repeal the First Amendment. Yeah. Probably the best idea. Yeah, know, just, you just changing what we thought was the norm 200 years ago, 300 years ago, it's different now. So we need to just update with the times. Beyonce and Katy Perry, the Celebrity Coalition, they want to help repeal the First Amendment to kind of stop the hate speech thing. That's that's a probably a, the best idea, wouldn't you agree? I would agree that's probably a really good idea. Just completely nip it in the bud, cancel them, don't buy their products, completely and utterly just Just stop. delete them from social media. Yes, don't. Anytime they make a kind of yes. a, an offensive joke or yep. anything like that. Like Beyonce and a lot of these people are leading an initiative to help end hate speech once and for all mm -hmm. by repealing the First Amendment. Right. That's probably a good idea, you think? So that right. everyone can have a safe space in society? Right. So. Yeah, I agree. I'm very, I am very strong-minded about this subject. Very much yeah, so. I don't Wanting understand why color even ever mattered in the first place. Not sure. We're all human. We are all yeah. the same on the inside. And, and, and repealing the First Amendment will help to bring about your New World Order vision, you think? Yes. It's all outdated. It's all outdated. We, should we just need to revise the First Amendment to all stop of it. the hate speech. All of it. People making like racist it, if, jokes. If you think They're about when things, it was created, like that was so long ago. They the world changes like, so much. They call people like illegal aliens. They say that like they say that black people can be racist too. A lot of people say to maybe update the First Amendment to repeal the First Amendment. That's 
Probably the best way they're saying. Would you agree? I would agree. What do you think should happen to somebody if they, you know, make a racist joke these days? I mean, uh, that depends on who makes the joke, I would think. If a white person makes a racist well, is it a, joke. Well, is it a comedian or is it a public figure or is it... Who, so it, it, it matters who makes the joke? Yeah, yeah, it really does. If it's a comedian, then, you know, that's his job to make a joke. And you should be able to joke about any subject. In, in the right environment. So if, if I'm not a comedian, I'll make some jokes that about black people and maybe hurt some people's feelings, they, they have black fragility, is that wrong? I just think that it doesn't really benefit you in any way to do that. To make some people laugh. If you met somebody who regularly made racist jokes, what would you say to them? Oh, I directly just address it, tell them I find that behavior unacceptable, and if they're going to persist in my area, you know, I'm either going to remove myself and let other people know that issue, or they can look and start changing to be more positive and engaging. Hate speech? Hate speech? I mean, depends what you think about hate, I don't know. Well, a lot of people saying a lot of racist things these days, you know, and um, hurting people's feelings. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I believe in you. You can hurt my feelings okay. if you want. It is okay. We're just trying to, you know, see who wants to reveal the First Amendment to, you know, protect their, their little feelings. Oh, I mean, I got a I lot of little feelings. Idea. Ah, I don't no. want. I, I like it when people are offended. I think okay. it's good. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you're new here and check back on a regular basis, and the craziness will continue.